Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. You can follow my blog, blog at com, or you can also join the chatterbox, which is, um, the link is in the description bar and it is a dollar and 99 cents to join. You do have to be 18 years old to join per YouTube rules and policy. Um, which I prefer it that way as well. I don't know why I said that. But anyway, um, this is Aspen sculpted by Claire Teller. This is my third version of the Aspen. Um, and he is considered to be a booboo baby. He is not completed. He is not fully weighted uh, because I am going to go in and work on his toes and his fingers, um, his nails, um, I should say. Sometime I do a little bit of work after, even though I started the matting process, I I still will go in and I do stuff to the nail beds and stuff like that sometime. Sometime I do it all at once, sometime I do it afterwards. This time I chose to do it afterwards. He has a bubble on one of his hands. And which hand is it? This one? Yeah, that's it. It's a little bubble right there. And I just kind of colored it so it'll kind of look a little natural or whatever but um also I think because of it I kind of didn't do well I didn't do as good with the fingers on the around the edge part of that part or whatever but when I go back in that may change um I tend to sometimes go back in and be able to rectify some of my little nuances that I tend to can't stand. I'm, I'm talking low because I have my grandbaby here and I have to keep listening out for her. Um, so I'm going to make this fairly quick, but I wanted to show him I still have not um, glossed his lips as of yet, which I will um, uh, later I'll either gloss his lips or just wet the inside of his mouth of course you guys can't see um that just yet but um i'll i'll do a better job at showing him later um because the inside of his mouth is painted really nice i think i think i did a really good job on this one it's a more realistic color inside and everything so i was really proud with that and i really like the way his lips turned out um, he has a little bit of veining in his head and, you know, in his arms and legs and tummy plate and stuff as well. Um, not like extremely a lot, um, but a little. And, um, so I actually, I actually, uh, as you guys know, I don't always feel very insecure about painting the darker skin tones. Um, so because if you follow my blog, you'll hear part of the story behind this particular um, Aspen. Um, I decided to just, you know, take a chance and just paint, you know, paint where, um, because, you know, it's like I had nothing to lose. So I did go darker on him. This is his tummy plate, let's see. So this is his tummy plate. So, yeah, so he has a nice, good chocolatey color. Um, I like the little half tummy plates and the non-gender ones. One, they don't really take away from the cuddle factor as much. And two, um, you can pick the gender. You can change the gender. So, um... But yeah, so I I love painting full lips on, on babies. It gives you more of a canvas. So I think once he's weighted, he's going to be really nice. I actually said I was going to get him rooted, and I think I will. But the last time I got a baby rooted, I didn't bond as much. But then this one came back, and I really love um, the other baby, which was Rio, that I've now turned into a girl came back and I, I really, I loved, loved her more. So 
I don't know. I'll see once I get him weighted, spend a little time with him. He'll be a while before he gets his chance to go anyway. But I do, my goal is to have him rooted. I, I plan to get most of my babies rooted here now. I feel like it's only right that I work so hard that I have my babies rooted for me too. So anyway, just thought I would share. Um, this is like the bottom of his feet. Oh my God, oh, there you go. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share my version. He got like vein in his thigh area and stuff like that. And you probably can't see it on camera. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share my version of um, Aspen as a more darker skin tone baby. He is actually darker than the first Aspen. <laughs> so um, that turned out, that turned out pretty cool. Like, so all of the Aspens are different skin tones. If I had them all together, I would line them all up, but I don't because the first Aspen, the prototype was sold. Um, the second one I still have available for purchase but I just have not really um, marketed her as hard because <laughs> I guess a part of me is not anxious to see her leave. Um, but I am asking 1500 for her. Um, it is the same um, price that I sold the um, prototype as I feel that this baby is just as nice and so um, I, I am pretty firm on that price with this particular one. So, um, yeah. Um, I know a lot of people that, um, follow me, um, sometimes they, they say that they, you know, they want the babies, but the price is a little bit outside of their budget. And, you know, sometimes I have a baby, I sell it all. And then you can go and get it rooted or root it yourself because some collectors actually root. Um, those are ways to get them at a lesser cost when they're when I'm selling a ball. Also, every now and then I sell them a little less. Um, but I think um, that's kind of my prices. Price range is between... Um, it's probably going to be somewhere in that area of $1,500. Um, that's just my price. I really don't have an explanation other than the fact that that's what I, I, I feel that I want to sell them for. Um, yeah, so that's that. And um, I do not charge per skin tone. <laughs> um, like I said, the, the prototype actually went for that price. And I also, like, I don't do um, prototypes um, that often, um, but I know people rate, say that they are worth more the value is worth more in the prototypes, but I, I haven't, like I said, I'm not a big time prototype artist, so I pretty much just still, um, price my babies according to what I feel like I want to sell them for, what I feel like they're worth. Um, so I don't necessarily just automatically uh, charge more um my my other prototype sold higher because it was a bigger baby almost you know like <laughs> like you're painting almost like a, a a toddler type baby um so it just depends on like i said the baby itself because i may have a smaller baby that i may decide to charge more than 1500 for and i may have one that i decide to charge less than that um, every every baby I charge different. Um, I don't have a set flat rate. Um, I I actually since I've been back buying babies now, I've kind of found out that a lot of artists actually do the same thing. They don't price their babies until after they're done. In fact, uh, Valera baby as well. Um, I've contacted her about several babies, and um, she said the same thing. She, she she priced them after the baby is completely done. And then, you know, it has to be rooted and everything. And then she'll have a price. Um, several other artists have said the same thing. So, I think it's kind of the norm. Um, what else? I keep saying, um, 
because I feel like I'm forgetting something because I feel a little rushed doing this video. But anyway, I just wanted to put that out there for you guys because people were asking. But that is it. I hope that you guys like this little guy. He will be um, in my personal collection. Um, and I will announce his name once he's totally complete because I think he will have a name. I think I already have the name for him. And it is going to probably be a name that I've used before. So I'm sure you guys may be able to think of what that name might be based off of um, my little theme names that I do with some of my babies. So it is going to be a place. So that's that. So I hope you guys, again, have a good day. Bye-bye.